The BMW 3 Series is a legend, plastering grins on the face of every owner and enthusiast since 1975. 25 years later, the barking inline 6 in the 330 boasts 225 horsepower and 214 foot-pounds of torque, fusing a luxurious interior, gorgeous body, and superb handling together make the E46 a hell of a ride. And the price of admission to all this goodness? Under 10 grand. So when I got into this car, I was thinking, why would you buy this car over the 330 sedan? The performance aspects of the cars are very similar, uh, actually practically identical. The weight is basically the same, the horsepower is the same, they didn't change anything in the steering. So really, you're just getting two doors versus four doors. First off, I like the way this car looks significantly more than the four-door variant. I think the coupe looks a lot sportier, despite the fact that it isn't, and it makes it look more expensive. This car does not look like a $9,000 car. It looks a lot more than that. The handling is still excellent. The steering feel is a little loose for my liking, but it's definitely planted. The brakes work well, it sounds great. This car has the optional five-speed Steptronic transmission. So it's a shiftable automatic. You push forward and it downshifts, you pull back, and it upships when you uh, are in sport mode. I like that, it's nice. It was a $1,500 option. In 2004, they redesigned the front and rear taillights and headlights, which look a lot cooler, a lot more updated. The front bumper is a little different. And on this car, it's got the sports package, which gives this car pretty cool looking 17 inch rims. It also gives a few electronically adjustable features to the driver and passenger seats. The premium package was a $2,900 option, which is fitted on this car. It gives the car this beautiful wood trim. It gives you uh, storable features for the driver's seat. So if you've got multiple people driving this car, you just press number one. It returns all the settings, the mirrors and the seats back to your setting. I'm a little disappointed with these seats. They're not as supportive as I would like around turns. This car has a sports package and a premium package, and it is a sports coupe, so you'd expect the seats to hug you in place when you're going around turns real fast, but unfortunately that's not the case. The acceleration in this car is pretty good. Zero to 60 in upper six second range. It's not a super fast car, but if you've never driven a high performance car before, you're gonna find this car to be plenty fast. It's easy to see numbers on paper and think, wow, well, the fast cars are doing 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, this must be just a slow tank, but not the case at all. Anything under 7 seconds, the car starts to feel pretty quick. But this car really comes into its own around corners, and despite the fact that it doesn't handle any better than the sedan, the sedan handles terrifically. So it's fabulous and it's really fun on the back roads. The brakes in this car are phenomenal, stops very well, confidence inspiring. It takes turns exceptionally well. So you don't have to be a terrific driver for you to feel confident behind the wheel of this car. It's very easy to drive. So if that's something that you would like, then this car could be for you. For its price point, under $10,000, the coupe and the sedan version of this car are some of the best vehicles that you can possibly buy. They look the most expensive. They're pretty reliable. They're quick cars, they handle well. It's a really, really great deal. And you will surprise everyone with the fact that this car was not $30,000 when you bought it. This car truly is phenomenal in the turns. Stopping power is great. It could be better for sure. But for a car in this price range, it's terrific. Confidence inspiring. The car feels small, smaller than it is. It's the same size as the sedan. Great visibility throughout the turns. You really can see where you're going. It basically goes exactly where you tell it to. Another perk 
quirk of this car that I just kind of figured out here is that it's not that loud. So if you want to drive quickly in back roads and not draw too much attention to yourself, that can be easily done in this car. It doesn't yell at cops and say, hey, come over and give me a ticket. It kind of just blends in. But it blends in elegantly because this is truly a beautiful car. I really like the way it looks. Like I said before, the acceleration is pretty good. It's not a super fast car, but fast enough to get you out of trouble, fast enough to make quick passes on the freeway, and definitely fast enough to put a smile on you and your friends' faces. But the handling of this car is truly where it shines. And that's what makes this car a BMW, not an Audi or a Mercedes. The handling, the road feel, you feel connected to the road. You really know what's going on. Nothing's deadened. It feels engaging and exciting to drive. Well, I hope you enjoy this review. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. If you have any more questions concerning your first car purchase, visit us at www.vehicle-virgins.com.